Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create and use a custom wavetable from an audio file in Logic Pro. So again, we have table mode selected in RetroSynth here. I'm just going to leave that there for a moment and I'm going to load up an audio track in Logic now. And I'm going to select my input for my microphone. And then I'm going to record me singing a note. Uh, I thought I'd throw in some pitch modulation there just to see what happens when we throw that in a, as a wave table. Looks like the waveform's all there and good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually just going to shorten it a bit. And I'm going to take that there. That's fine. Let's see what happens. And then we are going to right click. So control click on here, convert to new audio files. I'm going to put that on the desktop as R2. There we go. That's all good. So I'm going to mute that now and come back to RetroSynth. And in the wavetable menu, I'm going to create a wavetable from an audio file. And that's R2. Awesome. The new wavetable contains 67 waveforms. Okay, so there's 67 snapshots of the waveform. There we go. And there's no modulation going on or anything like that. So let's see what let's see how it sounds. Okay. So it sounds like a bit of LFO modulation on the shape. And slow that modulation down. So it's kind of cycling through the different frequencies that are singing there. as it's all laid out over the digi-waves. Great, and now I can save that as a wavetable. So I'm gonna call this Chris Oz. And there we go. So let's see, uh, there we go, Chris Oz. So all of those, all of the, the waveforms that it found inside the, the waveform, if you like, I just mapped up, mapped over these numbers here. And I'm going to try form modulation. So each of these is basically a different cycle from the waveform, but the modulation is cycling through them. Well, the modulation now is actually modulating the formats of the sound. Uh, let's go to shape again. Great. So that's how you can create your own wavetable from an audio file that you create in Logic Pro. See you in the next video.